So what happened? Good, good day to you. Um, thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. My name is David Found. I'm a professional camera man. I've been around camera operator, shall we say, in this day and age of uh, political correctness, of course. Uh, I'm a camera operator, a camera person, and a photographer, and whatever else. But um, one of the issues I just wanted to. Uh, to perhaps point out that you may actually be suffering as I have or didn't quite know the answer to it, couldn't find any answers anywhere on the net, is that uh, using I've been using, um, uh, I use a Lightroom uh, version 9, uh, which is um, which has been perfectly fine uh, for quite a while, and then I realized I had a, an issue with it. Um, the issue I've had is that um, just recently I've not been able to view uh, any of the images on the develop uh, module screen it goes completely black and if you do a bit of research on that it, the, uh, the technicians say that you have to uh, disable the GPU uh, which doesn't make any sense because the GPU or the graphics processor particularly like a Nvidia the one I use here is my is on my uh, MSI which is a GTX 1060 uh, graphics card obviously for a, a notebook and it's been working very very well so if you go into the preferences uh, you should and you will always be able to you should be able to uh, set up the, uh, the processor the, the graphic processor as you can see right you, well you can't see but I'll send you I'll, I'll add a, a screen capture for, for this as well but essentially mine is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 um, and my it's on on Lightroom it um, now now I found the fix and I'll tell you what the fix is um, it says my system automatically supports full acceleration now that's an asset when you're working in anything where you've got full uh, acceleration and full processing power of the GPU along with the CPU. Now just recently I've upgraded and I didn't notice until I started using Lightroom again. I, I haven't used Lightroom much recently. I've been doing mostly video production. Uh, but I went into Lightroom and there was, there was nothing on the screen. There was nothing showing in the develop module uh, editing uh, screen. Um, so I searched around, couldn't really find an issue apart from I can't, couldn't find a, a solution apart from uh, being advised to turn off the GPU. Um, now that's strange because I've been using my GPU, my NVIDIA GTX 1060 for a long time and uh, it's been working fine. So what did I think about? I thought about well just been up, updating um, the NVIDIA graphics driver so I thought well what do I do? I'll go back and and, uh, and step back or roll back the driver and see if that uh, helped. Well, I, I roll back to one of the versions. If I just pull up this, um, this website, um, the, the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver, I use the studio driver. I, I chose not to use the, the GeForce, the game ready driver. I'm not actually a games player. So I use the studio driver, not that I don't think not that I think it makes any difference, quite honest with you, whether you use the studio driver or the game ready driver, but for those who are obviously a game players, um, then that will probably be a, an asset to them with things like uh, line tracing and so, so on and so forth. Um, so I looked at the current version uh, of my NVIDIA Studio driver. Um, before I did that, I reinstalled uh, Lightroom which is version uh, 9 to go into the into the version um, about Lightroom this is uh, 9 9.0 release camera raw 12 um, so I thought well okay so I'll reinstall Lightroom and see if that fixes it I was quite happy initially because when I first uh, I, uh, when it first started to open uh, I actually saw an image come on the develop module screen and then it disappeared it went to black so the advice I got off the um, NVIDIA website was just to turn off, uh, sorry, off uh, Adobe's website, is just to turn off the GPU. That's not a solution. 
as far as I'm concerned. So I looked at the, I looked at probably rolling back the drivers, and I realised that um, my driver is, or well, the latest driver is the 460.89. So I rolled back to 460.79. It didn't change anything. It didn't make it any better. So I then went to um, the NVIDIA Studio driver 45730, which was which was released on November 17th, 2020, and that's fixed the issue. So this is the problem. If you're having the same problems as me by with your Lightroom not showing an image on the developed module, um, apart from the thumbnails at the bottom, you don't get, unless you've got a second screen, you want to pull it up on the second screen, but uh, you still need to be able to see the develop modules uh, image. So I have messed around for a little bit. I found the solution, and now by rolling back my uh, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA Studio driver back to the version which is below the 460 uh, uh, codes or, or uh, versions, and I've gone back to 457.30 and that has fixed my problem as you can probably see now um, the images are showing in the develop module I'll just turn my camera around a little bit I will actually pull up a screen capture but actually you can see that the image is showing um, on the develop module now if you, if you go into your um, preferences um, and you can see uh, here, I'll show you a bit closer, but uh, you can see here that the uh, it does actually support NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. It's on automatic for using graphics processor. Um, and it's stating that my system is automatically supporting full acceleration. If I go into custom and set it to only be uh, the uh, NVIDIA GeForce, and action that out and okay that it's fine so that's the issue I've rolled back my driver um, to uh, um, an earlier version and uh, now you can see if I pull up the GeForce um, experience um, detector driver detection system it's asking me to update to 46089 I won't be doing that because I don't really intend to be doing much with Lightroom at the moment I'm just using that version and I'm quite happy with it um, so I'm not going to be updating uh, any more of the uh, the drivers for the video thank you for joining me today bye bye see you again